My name's Daza and I've travelled to this random wimpy in the middle of nowhere to try three different items. Let's get right in about it. This is a weird day, David. This is a weird experience, mate, I'm not gonna lie. This is the weirdest place I've ever travelled for a food review. We've got three items in the bag, David. <laughs> what do we have? I don't know. Oh, there's the stuff, David. Where's well, the stuff? Have they gave you extra? No, but... Oh, one's chips. One's chips. Right. One's chips. So we've got... Uh, just a quarter burger, not a quarter cheese. Guy, the classic burger. Classic quarter. And what? <laughs> a burger. <laughs> and uh, the second one was... Bacon and cheese. Bacon and cheese. And that... Uh, Chicken strips. Chicken strips. Chips. Special sauce. Special sauce. Uh, I, he said what dips do you want and I said I don't know what dips you got and he just said this, this, this and special sauce so I just went special sauce. There's also salt, wimpy salt, nice. which is normal salt. Get that on eBay. So the chips are in a bag, in a bag. Oh, double bagged. Double bagged. For your convenience. They're very yellow. I don't know if you can tell, but we're sitting literally in like the, sit the seating area. There's a bin. Can you see the wimpy in the background? Like is it clear that that's the wimpy? Well, there's the order numbers up there, there's the bins. It's a wimpy sign. No smoking in the seating area. Smoking. We're in the wimpy, so I feel, and I think the staff might have recognised me as well, so I'm feeling a bit socially anxious here. <laughs> There's need to hear, right? Need to hear. Need to hear. Yeah. Right, so the chips look a bit anemic. Yes. Aye. Aye. <laughs> right, let's try the special sauce. Let's see how special it is. What is it? Like pickles. Pickles? Aye. This smells like Big Mac sauce. It's like burger sauce, aye. Aye. I don't know if I like that. Chips are alright, but chips remind that's me. That's just, that's just burger sauce. The chips are actually alright. They taste like, uh, like Burger King chips. I think before they changed them. Mm. No, the new Burger King chips. The new Burger King chips are similar to McDonald's chips now, I think. Not too bad. I'm glad they came with salt as well, so I can actually put salt on it. Chips are alright. Standard fast food chips. I'd go 7 out of 10. Chicken strips, burger. No, burger, chicken strips, burger. Right. Let's go with this one first. Ooh, oh, oh, what's saucy? <laughs> the bun, bacon, cheese. That's the bacon and cheese then. Burger. <laughs> what gave that away, David? The, the bacon. The bacon? Yeah. I think so. That's going to sound weird. I wasn't born in the 80s, but it reminds you of the 80s. Hi. Do you know what I think? I know what you're talking about. The bun is got that kind of like. Dusting. Dusting on the top here. I don't mind that in a bun. It just, just takes you back, doesn't it? It's weird. The like wimpy new is what you've made from the house. It's nothing special, it's just cheap fast food. Which I think is completely fine. That's not a bad thing at all. I'm not, trust me, I'm not slating it. Onions on there as well. Some uh, fried onions. The only thing I don't like about it is the bacon. Is that really the bit that lets it done? You know when you buy like bacon in the supermarket that's got all the fat taking off it already? The only reason I've ever seen it is because Emma buys it because she wants to feel better about eating bacon. But it kind of tastes like that, whereas I prefer like kind of rational bacon, like Canadian bacon, that kind of bacon. So much nice. I don't like that bacon on it. Everything else is stunning though. The burger's nice, the buns are nice, the cheese is nice, and the onions are banging. It's just the bacon, I'm not a massive fan of. Is this a classic cheese and bacon? Uh, aye. We'll, we'll, we'll get a shot of the menu before we leave and we'll put it on screen. Classic cheese and bacon. I'm going to go 6 out of 10. The main event. No, no. Chicken oh, strips. chicken strips, sorry. Chicken strips, then burger, that was it, wasn't it? Come on, mate, come on. Chicken strips, ooh. That's actually pretty good, isn't it? Are these bad boys? Oh, they look nice. I do wish we had a dip that I liked. They're very nice. I do wish I had like a... You've got, your, spe you got your special sauce. It's no special enough. I don't think it's as good as uh, McDonald's chicken selects. Something, I think, about the chicken, the batter, like the coating that's on it. Brilliant. Very nice batter. It's just the chicken that's no, uh, like, it's nice. It's just no, it's just no it. Do you get me? I think it would definitely be improved by a dip, but we're not reviewing it with a dip. We're reviewing it on its own. So I think for that reason, we're going to give the chicken selects. Is it called chicken selects? It's chicken strips. Chicken strips, because the chicken selects are McDonald's. Chicken strips. Six out of ten. Oh. And now, the main event. This is, this is the classic. Classic quarter pounder. So it's upside down. It's upside down. If you came in in the, the 1970s, 80s, 90s, whenever Wimpy was actually open, 
this is what you would have probably is the same recipe to this day, to be honest. Oh, no, it's got a burger sauce on it. <laughs> This is on a burger though, so it may be alright on a burger. Suppose, aye, it should, it's just gonna... Complement it. Yes, exactly. Oh. Here we go. It makes sense being in the burger. It doesn't make as much sense. Just like that. Chips. Aye. Feel whatever it's owned that. The onions are in the bowl. But it's a weird kind of like system that they've got there. They've got the veg on the tap, the sauce, the burger, and then the onions and the cheese at the bowl. Unconventional, but conventional. I don't think it makes much difference to like when you're eating it, but it makes difference in terms of melt and stuff. I think maybe putting the burger on at the bottom, I feel like that's going to melt it, melt, because you're, you're pushing it into that bread and it's just it's going to melt it off straight away rather than putting it slick. I don't know, maybe I'm just talking nonsense. Probably am, to be honest. This one's a different bun to the other ones. I don't know what that kind of stuff is. That looks a bit weird, to be honest. It's still quite nice, though. The buns are very thin. I say that, I don't like the bottom bun. This feels like a, a homemade bun. That's what it feels like. Ah, right. Is it whole wheat? It's kind, of, it's kind of brown. Like, it might be quite hard for the camera to pick up on it, but it's like, it doesn't feel like white bread if you get me. It's still quite nice. I don't, I'm not taking that away from it. It's just, it's not a normal uh, burger bun. I think the quarter pounder though, it's probably going to get the same as if it melts really. It's going to be 7 out of 10. Well, David, we've travelled quite a lot of different places to do these food reviews. This has been the strangest location we've ever came to. <laughs> ever. Like, this wimpy is just on the side of the road, sandwiched in between a pub and a house. And a house. This one's back garden. That's, that's their house. It's literally just, that's their fence. <laughs> <laughs> it's so strange, man. Oh my god, but... Also, everything's like contactless as well. But the windows can open. Because they open the windows to get your drink. It's so weird. I just don't get it. I don't understand it. But. We're here, we've done it, we've travelled. How many miles? Too many. Too many miles. But, where do you want to see me travel hundreds of miles to next? How's it be? Let me know. Do in the comments below. Oh, hello. Uh, it seems like you've got to the end of this video, but you might want to watch another video. So, why don't you watch one of the other ones? It's, it's in the boxes, they're on the screen somewhere. See, I don't want to point that way and then they end up here. here. So I'm just going to say somewhere. Um, but I'm just going to wait until you, until you click one. Uh, nothing else really is going to happen until that point. So I will just, uh, we'll just wait, me and you together. Uh, aye, this is fun. Please just press one. Just what? Just go. Oh, just, just leave the vid. Just, just press the video. Like you don't need to stay. This is weird. This. I feel we're getting to know each other, but no in a way that anybody wants to. Hmm. Oh, well, I'm going to go now.